okay hello everyone in this video we are going to discuss fourier transform in three dimension then one important question find the fourier transform of e to the power minus a r square which is your 3d gaussian wave function here r is your magnitude of position vector in our last class we have been discussed in detail about <coughs> fourier transform of gaussian distribution function that is your e to the minus a square a x square that is your 1d gaussian distribution function one and two things i want to share with you about the gaussian function what we have been discussed in our last class here you can see that we consider the gaussian distribution function here fx equal to e to the minus a x square then we have been derived its fourier transform and we found <coughs> Fourier transform of one dimensional Gaussian distribution function equal to e to the r minus omega square by 4a whole divided by a root, root over of 2a. This is the whole root over of 2a. If here we are going to consider, suppose fx, suppose I am going to consider instead of fx n e to the r minus a x square, then the value of the Fourier transform of this function here, Fourier transform of fx for this case will be equal to here here we not consider last class will not consider n into if i am going to multiply n <coughs> one factor then fourier transform of this function will be n into e to the power see here here we found only e to the minus ax square equal to e to the minus omega square <coughs> by 4a by root over of 2a here only n will be multiplied n into minus omega square by 4a by root over of 2a the answer of the Fourier transform of this function will be this one. Only a n will be multiplied. So in your exam, sometimes it is asked asking asking that you have to find out this Fourier transform of this one. Sometimes you can find this type of question. So n is a constant. Only it will be multiplied at the end. Or here you can say we are going to simple integration this function. So n will be a constant. It will become outside the integration, and it will continue up to this much. Okay. Another thing I want to uh, discuss with you that actually 1d gaussian function or distribution is represented by this one that is your gx or fx or fx you can say fx equal to 1 by sigma root over of 2 pi into e to the minus x square by 2 sigma square and here sigma is your standard deviation and if we are going to integrate this function from minus infinite to plus infinite then we can found one that means if i am going to draw the figure of this one 1 by sigma root over of pi e to the minus x, x square by 2 sigma square then the curve will be like this because we know that if e to the power x square ka jo distribution hoga, oh, SI hoga, it will be like this and if we are going to draw this function the distribution of this function about y axis this is your y axis will be like this okay now here this is the standard deviation or one type of constant you can say if we are going to change this constant value suppose we are going to consider uh, this distribution is your for sigma 1 this is for your sigma 2 this is for your sigma 3 and here you can see sigma 3 greater than that of the sigma 2 greater than that of the sigma 1 that means if this sigma value will be increased then the spreadness of this function increases initially it will it will like this then it will increase means it is spreaded over the x-axis again it has been spreaded over the x-axis so here i for, uh, for in our last class i not consider this constant value 1 by sigma uh, into uh, uh, root over of 2 pi i not cons consider because this is a constant if i will consider then it will multiply at the end okay and here uh, e to the power uh, e to the power minus x square by 2 sigma square this 2 sigma square itself a constant also i not considered only i considered e to the power minus a x square okay e to the minus x square a x square that that means if i am going to draw this uh, function also we can found this type of distribution so hence this is also called as the gaussian distribution function got it but actual gaussian distribution function is this one but we not considered in the last class we not consider this constant and this constant okay so here for 1d case 1d gaussian distribution function if we are going to consider e to the minus a x square then it will be e to the minus omega square a 4a by 2a root over 
okay you just keep in your mind it is required when we are going to discuss 3d 3d gaussian wave function to find the fourier transform 3d gaussian wave function the result of a, a fourier transform 1d gaussian distribution function is required right okay now we are going to go for fourier transform in three dimension we know the fourier transform in general i am telling fourier transform of 1d function fx small fx is fourier transform of fx is represented by capital f omega here fourier transform of 1d suppose i written that means we have to uh, we have to consider automatically that x domain is transformed to omega domain right so capital f omega or the fourier transform of f of x will be equal to 1 by 2 pi root over minus infinity to plus infinity fx e to the i omega x dx in general we can write fourier transform of a function small fx that means x domain transformed to omega domain right here function in x domain transformed to omega domain same thing i have been written the above equation can be written as uh, f u see here u x these are the dummy symbols so i can change it accordingly i can change whenever i want so instead of w omega omega i can write u okay <clears throat> so f capital f u if i consider the fourier transformation of f x that means x transformed to u domain right so it can be represented as fourier transform of f x equal to capital f u can be uh, written in the integral format as 1 by 2 pi root over minus infinity to plus infinity fx e to the power instead of omega what we can write we can write u x dx because uh, omega is your dummy symbol in detail i have been written similarly fourier transform of 1d function suppose f y here x is the variable y suppose is the variable that means suppose this function is in the y domain and another function we have been considered in the z domain here you just consider z is the small small means you just write like this z and one uh, cross at the middle so it will be called as the small z so simple z means the capital z right so here uh, if another function uh, variable is z suppose this is fz uh, can be written the fourier transform fy and fz can be written as here y transformed to v domain z transformed to omega domain so f function of u which is representation of a fourier transform of fy can be represented by 1 by 2 pi root over minus infinity to plus infinity fy e to the i v y dy similarly if z transformed to omega domain then capital f omega or fourier transformation of fz equal to 1 by 2 pi root over fz minus infinity plus infinity to rahega hi integration minus infinity plus infinity fz into e to the i omega z dz so this is the representation of fourier transform of fx this is fy this is fz now consider 2d function one 2d function the variable is your x and y having two variables here what x and y then fourier transform of this function will be written as that means both x and y transformed to u and v respectively suppose suppose x and x transformed to u and y transformed to v if x transformed to u only one integration y transformed to v another integration we have to consider so <clears throat> fourier transform of this function having two variables x and y transformed to another two variable u v that means it this function is in x y domain this function transformed to another domain u v domain so what will be the fourier transform 1 by 2 pi root over integration of integration of this one f x e to the power u x dx again multiplied with 1 by 2 pi root over minus infinity plus f y e to the i v y dy or simultaneously we can write double integration minus infinity plus infinity minus infinity plus infinity the function is f x y having the two variables transformed to u and v so we can write e to the power i u x into e to the power i v y or we can write e to the power exponent to the power i ux plus plus vy into dx dy that means if two variable uh, uh, domain transformed to another two variable domain then we are going to consider double integration if we are going to consider three dimensional function co converting to another three three d uh, um, three dimensional function with having different domains three different domains then three 
triple integration we are going to consider. Similarly, here I written similarly Fourier transform of a 3D function. That is your f x y z. That means how many variables x y z variables three variables written clearly will be written as if I am going to transform this x y z to another three variables suppose u v and omega then how we are going to write triple integration of uh, triple integration of this one into this one into this one so 1 by 2 pi root over into 1 by 2 pi root over into 1 by 2 pi root over how much 1 by 2 pi to the power 3 by 2 triple integration minus infinity plus infinity minus infinity plus infinity minus infinity plus infinity, plus infinity the three variable function f x y z into we can write e to the i u x into e to the i v y into e to the i omega z or we can write e to the power i u x plus v y plus omega z dx dy dz so this is the integral form of Fourier transform of this one or Fourier transform of this one or capital F of u v omega equal to 1 by 2 pi to the power 3 by 2 triple integration of this one just remember this one most important and now corresponding inverse Fourier transform means the original function inverse Fourier transform of, of what this one capital F u v omega is nothing but small f x x y z which will be equal to 1 by 2 pi 3 by 2 triple integration limit will be minus infinity plus infinity this function capital f u v omega into e to the r here plus here e to the r minus i u x plus v y plus omega z here d u d v d omega this is d v okay d v and this is d omega okay okay now uh, uh, just remember very simple okay next uh, we are going to go for question based upon this 3d Fourier transform okay the question is that find Fourier transform of e to the r minus a r square here r is nothing but magnitude of position vector that means x square plus y square plus z square to the power 1 by 2 or root over of this one <coughs> what will the Fourier transform of this one or this function also called as the 3d Gaussian wave function the given function is your function of x y z because e to the power minus r means r is the magnitude of position vector this is x square plus y square z square to the power 1 by 2 so here if i will be put r value here then this function this function will be e to the minus a x square plus y square plus z square this function has been given we are we are going to find out the fourier transform of this function right the fourier transform of f x y z will be that means Fourier transform of this one can be written in, in how many how, in how it will be written 1 by 2 pi to the power 3 by 2 triple integration f x y z e to the power i u x plus v y plus omega z dx dy dz just now we have been discussed so that implies this one this one is nothing but can be written as capital f u v omega equal to 1 by 2 pi to the power 3 by 2 triple integration minus infinity plus infinity this f x y z is given as this one e to the power minus a x square plus y square plus z square into e to the power i u x plus v y plus omega z dx dy dz now this can be this entire three uh, integration can be segregated like this here that implies f u v omega can be written as 1 by 2 pi root over minus infinity plus infinity here e to the minus a x square into e to the power i u x into 1 by 2 by c here e to the power sorry 1 by 2 pi to the power 3 by 2 is there so it can be written as 1 by 2 pi to the power root over 1 by 2 pi to the power root over 1 by 2 pi to the power root over if i will multiply these 3 2 pi to the power 2 pi root over then we can found 2 pi to the power 3 by 2 so here first i am consider the 1 by 2 pi root over minus infinity plus infinity the first term e to the minus a x square into e to the i u x then 1 by 2 pi root over minus infinity plus infinity the second integration e to the minus a y square into e to the i uh, v y then third integration is your 1 by 2 pi root over minus infinity plus infinity e to the minus a z square into e to the i omega z d z okay so here let this is your equation number one here i return two line you just watch that for your examination point of view suppose this question asked this particular question uh, uh, is is your six mark question six to seven mark question suppose six mark question it, this question asked in your exam how much you have to write so, so here i written for you that for your examination point of view that is your six mark question you have to derive one integral any one of the integral you have to derive 
what we have been derived we have been derived previously bracket in bracket we have we have been derived previously that means in our 1d uh, 1d gaussian distribution function that is your a e to the min e to the minus ax square already we have been derived this is your one or uh, one one d gaussian wave function this is another one d y wave function this is one d gaussian wave function this is along x axis y axis z axis so here either one you have to derive already this integration already we have been derived and we found the value is how much this one e to the minus omega square by 4a by uh, root over of 2a so here uh, i just written for you that you have to derive so in between this after this equation number one you have to derive this one this integral this integration you have to derive okay you have to derive up to this one up to this one that means for your transform for your transform e to the minus x square a x square or 1 by 2 pi root over minus infinity plus infinity e to the minus a x square into i u x d x will be equal to e to the minus u square by 4 a by root uh, root over of 2a see in our last class we considered uh, the Fourier transform as e to the i omega x dx here uh, uh, e to the i u x dx so in last class the answer was how much e to the power minus omega square by 4a so as it is u here it is u so obviously instead of omega the answer will be e to the minus u square by 4a by root over of 2a here i directly written but you have to derive what are the steps derivation already uh, uh, we discussed in our last class uh, so you have to derive up to this much then similarly you have to write okay so here uh, 1 by 2 pi root over minus infinity of uh, infinity to plus infinity this integral will be this much okay hence equation number one equation number one means similarly if we are going to consider the this integral will be how much this integral will be e to the minus v square by 4a by root over of 2a this integral will be how much e to the minus uh, omega square by 4a by root over of 2a hence equation number one equation number one that means Fourier transform of e to the minus a r square or capital f u v omega will be equal to here 2a uh, 2a root over of 2a uh, one term will become again one, uh, uh, root over of 2a again root over of 2a for this integral this integral so 1 by 2a to the power 3 by 2 we can found into here for one integral we found e to the minus u square by 4a for this integral we can found v square by 4a for this omega square by 4a so combiningly we can write e to the minus u square plus v square plus omega square by 4a uh, which is your answer okay so here i not derived that means uh, around one page uh, not one page yes around one page work i not done here you have to do by yourself if this question asked in your exam okay thank you so much for watching this video if you like do subscribe please do subscribe and share with your friends in the next class we are going to discuss Fourier sine and cosine transform and its numerical thank you so much uh, for watching this video. Thank you.